For decades, Pluto remained one of the most enigmatic objects on the outer fringes of the solar system. Even after its discovery, when astronomers could barely make out its faint glow against the backdrop of stars, it remained overshadowed by the much larger and more massive giant planets. Only in the late 20th and early 21st centuries, thanks to technological advancements and the growing interest in dwarf worlds, did Pluto step into the limelight. Many of us still remember the controversy surrounding its status. For a long time, it was considered the ninth planet, but in 2006, the International Astronomical Union revised the classification, relegating Pluto to the category of dwarf planets. Despite this formal demotion, this distant world on the edge of the solar system continues to attract the interest of scientists and space enthusiasts. Its icy plains, breathtaking mountains, and thin, ever-changing atmosphere depict an extraordinary world where temperatures drop to exotic extremes and sunlight barely illuminates its desolate landscapes. Today, we embark on a journey through Pluto, reflecting on its history, characteristics, exploration, and why it remains crucial for understanding the evolution of the farthest reaches of the solar system. From a historical perspective, Pluto was discovered relatively late in 1930, thanks to the observations of American astronomer Clyde Tombaugh at Lowell Observatory. At the time, astronomers were searching for Planet X, a hypothesized object believed to influence the orbits of Neptune and Uranus. Although modern understanding of planetary dynamics suggests that Percival Lowell's and others' calculations contained errors, this search program ultimately led to Pluto's discovery. Back then, its planetary status was unquestioned, as no comparable trans-Neptunian objects had yet been found. Over time, as astronomers discovered other bodies in the Kuiper Belt, such as Makemake, Haumea, and later Eris, the question arose, should Pluto still be considered the unique ninth planet, or was it merely one of many icy objects beyond Neptune? In 2006, the IAU introduced a new definition of planet, which Pluto failed to meet, primarily because it had not cleared its orbit. Thus, the category of dwarf planets was established. However, despite this reclassification, Pluto's significance in astronomy did not diminish. On the contrary, the debate over its status fueled further interest, and the New Horizons mission, which we will discuss later, became one of the most impressive expeditions to the outer solar system. In terms of basic characteristics, Pluto is relatively compact. Its diameter is approximately 2,377 kilometers, making it smaller than the moon, which has a diameter of about 3,474 kilometers. Pluto's mass is around 1.3 times 10 to the 22nd kilograms, which is about six times less than the moon's mass. Its estimated density ranges from 1.85 to 2.0 grams per cubic centimeter, indicating a substantial proportion of rocky material in addition to ice. For comparison, the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn often have lower densities. Thus, Pluto represents a unique hybrid. Its composition includes water ice, nitrogen, methane, and rocky material. In terms of size, Pluto is comparable to some of the largest moons. Io and Europa are slightly larger, but it closely resembles Neptune's moon Triton in both size and many geological features. This suggests that Pluto is a representative of the Kuiper Belt, an icy body that formed on the outskirts of the solar system, where low temperatures and volatile compounds dominated its early environment. Regarding its internal structure, scientists believe Pluto has a relatively large rocky core surrounded by layers of water ice and other frozen compounds. Estimates suggest that the core could make up 50 to 70% of Pluto's volume. At extremely low temperatures below minus 200 degrees Celsius, ice behaves like rock, but under high pressure and slight warming, deeper ice layers may exist in a semi-molten state. Some models predict that beneath Pluto's crust, a subsurface ocean of water mixed with ammonia could exist, though confirming this hypothesis requires more detailed data. Nonetheless, signs of active geology, such as ice mountains, canyons, and possible cryovolcanoes, suggests that processes resembling those seen on the icy moons of giant planets may also occur on Pluto. Scientists speculate that radioactive decay in the rocky core might generate enough heat to sustain a partially liquid layer beneath the surface. This is particularly intriguing as it challenges the earlier assumption 
that such a small and distant body should be frozen in absolute stasis. A major breakthrough in Pluto exploration came with NASA's New Horizons mission, launched in January 2006. The probe traveled to Pluto for over nine years, passing Jupiter and using its gravity for acceleration. By the summer of 2015, New Horizons reached Pluto's vicinity, performing a historic flyby on July 14, 2015. During this brief encounter, the spacecraft collected a wealth of data using its cameras and spectrometers, capturing Pluto and its moon cairn in stunning detail, revealing surface contrasts and providing new insights into its atmosphere. For the first time, humanity saw Pluto not as a tiny, blurry dot, but as a complex world featuring a vast nitrogen ice plain, unofficially named Sputnik Planitia, towering ice mountains, and even a hazy blue sky and scattered sunlight. These images and measurements exceeded expectations, showcasing a younger and more dynamic terrain than previously imagined. Examining Pluto's surface, the most striking feature is the bright heart-shaped region known as Tombaugh Regio. The left side of this area, called Sputnik Planitia, is a massive plane of frozen nitrogen. This nitrogen ice, mixed with methane and carbon monoxide, appears to flow similarly to glaciers on Earth, smoothing out craters and irregularities. Observations indicate a lack of significant impact craters in this region, suggesting that the surface has been geologically active within the last tens or hundreds of millions of years. Another striking feature is the presence of mountain ranges several kilometers high, composed primarily of water ice, which behaves like solid rock under Pluto's extreme cold. Deep canyons and extensive dark regions near the equator appear to be older terrain covered in a thick crust of water ice and other materials. Although Pluto is, on average, about 5.9 billion kilometers from the sun, more than 39 astronomical units, it possesses a thin but noticeable atmosphere composed mainly of nitrogen with traces of methane and carbon monoxide. Surface pressure is extremely low, only a few microbars, about 100,000 times less than Earth's. However, New Horizons detected a striking blue haze caused by complex hydrocarbons, tholins, forming in the upper atmosphere under ultraviolet sunlight. This atmospheric dust creates a delicate glow and under certain lighting conditions, it forms blue bands around Pluto's disk. The atmosphere constantly escapes into space and partially freezes as Pluto moves farther from the Sun, sublimating again when the planet approaches perihelion. Some scientists compare this breathing process to seasonal changes on Earth, albeit on a much longer time scale, as Pluto's orbit around the Sun takes 248 years. Why is Pluto so important and unique Despite losing its planetary status, first, it offers a window into the history of the Kuiper Belt, a region where temperatures remained extremely low for billions of years, preserving volatile compounds. Pluto and its siblings, or such as Makemake, Haumea, and Eris, help scientists understand the early solar system's formation. Secondly, Pluto and its largest moon, Charon, with a diameter of about 1,212 kilometers, nearly half of Pluto's size, form a binary system with a center of mass located outside Pluto itself, an unprecedented case among former planets. Their tidal interactions may influence their internal activity. Lastly, Pluto's surprisingly young surface, ice mountains, and potential cryovolcanism suggest a more dynamic geological history than expected for such a small, distant body. The modern era of Pluto exploration is inseparably linked to the New Horizons space probe. Launched on January 19, 2006, from Cape Canaveral, the spacecraft reached Pluto's system in July 2015, performing a historic flyby at a distance of about 12,500 kilometers from the surface. During those brief hours of its closest approach, the probe collected an enormous amount of data, transmitting it back to Earth over the following months and even years. Due to the extremely slow transmission speed caused by Pluto's vast distance. These data sets included high resolution photographs, topographic information, surface ice spectra, atmospheric profiles, and satellite data. Pluto has five known moons Chiron, the largest, followed by the smaller Styx, Nix, Kerberos, and Hydra. 
One of the most remarkable discoveries from New Horizons was the breathtaking panoramic view of Sputnik Planitia, an unofficial but widely used name, the towering ice mountains several kilometers high, deep canyons on Charon, and the mysterious wavy surface structures. New Horizons effectively completed the first, and likely the only, visit to Pluto for many decades. After completing its primary mission to study the dwarf planet, the probe continued its journey into the Kuiper Belt, where in 2019 it performed a flyby of the object Arakoth, previously known as Ultima Thule. At present, no major space agency has concrete plans for another mission to Pluto. However, space exploration enthusiasts have proposed the idea of an orbital station or even a lander. Given the immense technological and financial challenges involved, such a project could only be realized in the distant future. For now, astronomers continue to collect additional data using telescopes such as Hubble and ground-based observatories equipped with adaptive optics. These observations help track surface changes as Pluto moves along its orbit. Scientists predict that as Pluto drifts farther from the sun, more nitrogen will freeze onto its ice planes, while a portion of its tenuous atmosphere will settle onto the surface as frost. Looking ahead, if humanity develops more advanced propulsion systems, such as improved nuclear or ion drives, we might one day send a spacecraft capable of entering Pluto's orbit, similar to NASA's Cassini mission to Saturn. Such an orbital station could spend years studying Pluto's geological details, the structure of its potential subsurface ocean, atmospheric dynamics, and interactions with the solar wind at the edge of the solar system. However, for now, these remain ambitious ideas requiring groundbreaking technological advancements and vast financial investments. Despite decades of research, Pluto still holds countless mysteries. Once considered the ninth planet of the solar system, later demoted to a dwarf planet, Pluto remains an essential subject of study. Neither the debate over its classification nor its remoteness and small size diminish its importance. Pluto showcases incredibly young regions on its surface. Massive mountains composed of water ice, strange dark terrains, and distinct geological features that may still be evolving. The entire pluto charon system is filled with unusual characteristics. The center of their mutual orbit lies in space between them, and Pluto's five moons resemble a chaotic cosmic ballet. Another fascinating aspect is Pluto's ultra-thin atmosphere. Despite being so tenuous that it borders on a vacuum, it still produces twilight effects in a delicate haze. This dynamic breathing of Pluto's nitrogen atmosphere, freezing and sublimating depending on its position in orbit, reveals that even at the outermost reaches of the solar system, seasonal changes can occur. Although these changes unfold on an extremely long timescale, Pluto's orbit takes 248 Earth years to complete, they highlight the contrast of this distant world. Pluto provides a window into the processes occurring beyond Neptune, in a region populated by hundreds or even thousands of other icy bodies. By studying it, we gain key insights into the broader Kuiper Belt, a region that significantly influences the dynamics of the solar system's outermost regions. Furthermore, Pluto is an excellent example of how a body smaller than our moon can retain internal heat and exhibit geological activity likely due to tidal interactions with Quran and possibly even radioactive decay in its rocky core. If a subsurface ocean does exist beneath Pluto's icy crust, it would be an astonishing discovery. We are already familiar with subsurface oceans on the giant moons of Jupiter and Saturn, but finding one on a small, distant dwarf planet would challenge our expectations about where liquid water can persist in the solar system. Looking toward the future, we can hope that the excitement generated by New Horizons will eventually lead to new missions. Perhaps one day we will develop a spacecraft capable of slowing down near Pluto and entering its orbit for long-term exploration. Such a mission could allow us to monitor how Tombaugh Regio's heart shifts, grows, or shrinks with the seasons, how icy volcanoes slowly erupt frozen materials, and how Pluto's weak magnetic field, if it exists, interacts with the solar wind. Additionally, scientists would love to understand how Charon influences Pluto's tidal forces and internal activity, whether Pluto once had a vast subsurface ocean, and how its thin atmosphere interacts with the surrounding environment. All of these questions deserve attention, 
as answering them would expand our understanding of how the solar system's outermost planets and dwarf planets behave beyond Neptune's orbit. Despite its small size and vast distance from the Sun, Pluto is a truly unique celestial body. It exhibits striking contrasts from frozen nitrogen plains to towering water ice mountains, from unpredictable cryovolcanism to seasonal atmospheric changes. Its exploration was made possible by visionary projects like New Horizons and the immense enthusiasm of the scientific community, and the probe's 2015 flyby exceeded all expectations. Although life on Pluto is highly unlikely due to its extreme conditions, temperature, pressure, and lack of sunlight, the planet itself provides invaluable insights into the evolution of icy objects originating from the depths of the Kuiper Belt. Moreover, it offers a new perspective on planetary formation and transformation processes across the solar system. In this sense, Pluto's exploration serves a broader purpose, understanding how different kinds of worlds, large and small, hot and cold, massive and tiny, shape the overall structure of our planetary system. If you have any thoughts on what else Pluto might be hiding or whether another mission should be sent to explore it, feel free to share in the comments. Public interest is one of the driving forces behind science and technology. Perhaps in the future, inspired by the incredible images and discoveries from New Horizons, we will see an even more ambitious project, such as an orbital station that lingers in the pluto charon system for years, closely tracking seasonal and geological changes occurring billions of kilometers from the sun. For now, let's appreciate the astonishing world that has already been revealed to us thanks to New Horizons, and remember that the universe is filled with countless discoveries waiting to be made. Stay connected as space exploration continues, offering us new insights into the most distant corners of the solar system.